comments. In this video, I will be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the possession of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. First comment comes from H. W. or H. Whitaker. And they say, can't understand what's being said. Hmm. Can't understand what's being said. Adverb, verb, adverb, adjective, pronoun. Interesting. Well, I answered the comment. I said, you know, um, do you speak plain, simple English? Uh, <clears throat> is the audio working on your device? Can you turn it up a little bit? You know, the volume knob, these types of things. And then they proceeded to school me on what hollow sound was and things like that which I learned a little bit of something from that. <clears throat> so I do appreciate their feedback, but what I think that they don't cognize is that the video that I'm reacting to, I have no control over the sound quality of that video. I only have control over what I sound like, not the video that I'm reacting to. So. H. Whitaker, if you could take everything, you know, if you're that concerned about it, you could take everything that you said to me, which I appreciate. Thank you for sharing. And send it to uh, Mark and his people for future reference so that they can make better quality videos for me to audit. Next comment comes from a member for the Dharma, and they say, for the claimant's question of the live streams warns is with the solicitude of an L with the time plan of the minus three hours with the honor and with the grace by this claimant questioner, Eric. For this claimant questioner, Eric, of the grace and of the honor is with the minus three hours of the time plan with an mail of the solicitude with the live streams warns for the claimant's question. I think I went over this in another video, but reading it back now, yeah, it, it doesn't make any more sense than it made to me the first time I read it. Just a couple quick things. Um, solicitude. I wonder what that means. That reminds me of solicitors and lawyers in fiction terms. And then they put of an email. If you're gonna put the E in brackets, if you're going to put the vowel in brackets, then you would not use and. You would just use a. A mail. Or the mail. And would only be used as a lodial in front of a word that starts with a vowel. With the time plan. Myself, personally, I do not use the word time in my correct sentence structure because time does not exist. Only the now space. Only the continuum. Of the minus three hours. So, yeah, this is a, th there's no doubt about it. The positional sequencing is immaculate. It's perfect. But what they're conveying is not. It's very, very muddy. I believe I have done a workshop with this individual, if I'm not mistaken. But they did not continue the workshops. And, um, I mean, that's what happens. The, all, the most efficient, effective way to get closure on this grammar is to take workshops and do it consistently until you get that closure. It's just like riding a bike. <clears throat> you keep getting on the bike, you keep riding it until it becomes second nature and it clicks. 
until you reach that point, if you just pick up the bike and ride it one day and fall over and then put it down and, and don't pick it up again, you're not going to be able to pick it up a month later and think that you can do as good as you did that first day. It's just not going to work. So that's why, you know, keeping up with the workshops is important if you're serious about this. I mean, if this is a priority in your life, then uh, you will prioritize it. Next comment comes from Total Recall. And they say, for the holding of hostage is with the shenanigans by the contract. For the... <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness all right so numerous particles of negation ing on holding is a particle of negation uh okay not numerous just a couple contract contra is a particle of negation that's why i hyphenate the word contract c-o-n hyphen t-r-a-c-t so that i eliminate any confusion with regards to the Particle of negation contra. I don't know what a shenanigan is. In the fiction, I know what it is. I'm not sure I would choose that word. And they're missing a lodial. The quick fix would be for the hold of the hostage, of the hostage, is with the shenanigans by the contract, for the contract of the shenanigans is with the hostage by the hold. Which on its service is a very simple sentence. If you take the particles of negation out and put in the missing words, it's not bad for a basic beginner. Nice effort. Here is a super, super duper confusing uh, comment that I got from someone who, I mean, I have no idea. I asked for help in translating this because, to me, it makes absolutely no sense. It's not correct sentence structure, and it's not really plain, simple English either. As you can see here, they have several symbols up here. Why they have these symbols, I have no idea. Notice to principle is notice to all. Notice to all is notice to principle. Folks, there is no period here, so this... All is going to be treated as one sentence. So we have pronoun notice, followed by adverb in the future tense to, modifying principle to an adjective, is is an adjective, notice is an adjective, to is a pronoun in the future tense, all is an adverb, Notice is an adjective. To is a pronoun in the future tense. All is an adverb. Is is adjective. Notice is a pronoun. To is adverb in the future tense. And principle is a dangling participle verb. So this individual does not know correct sentence structure. Obviously, they don't know. They don't know how to punctuate either. Congruence with the abundance to use, brother. What is use? What is use? What does the slang term use mean? Oh, so it's slang. So this individual is using slang in their grammar. Okay. Oh, they think I'm their brother. Hmm. I might be dealing with someone who is delusional here. Because, uh, first of all, I don't know who this individual is. And second of all, as far as I'm aware... I have one literal stepbrother, but I do have a couple brothers from another mother. None of them are this individual. So they might be delusional. It is by faith with our bridge building abilities. What's ability? For mankind to bar himself with the Gideon principle manomit salvation. What in the hell? For his eternal freedom. Notice with the spondability is the power. Notice for the stop and correct is with the balance of the honor with the grace by the post. So I guess they are trying to stop and correct something. 
Notice, for our brother, why do they put a tilde in front of the name there? That's interesting. Okay, folks, colon, Jason hyphen Matthew colon of the family name Glass. So it's basically what they're trying to say for argument's sake. It's for the Jason hyphen Matthew of the of the family name Glass. Is with the false and misleading statements by his words with this. Oh my goodness gracious. Dear brother, please perform the forensic evidence of use claims against use brother. The only claim I've made about Mark Sean Christopher is that he doesn't know correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. And that in the situation in the video that I was auditing, he is the trespasser because he walked into a private building that he had no jurisdiction over because he doesn't own the building. He's not a shareholder, is he? He's not a client, is he? So why is he there? That would be like someone coming to your house, suddenly walking into your house and say, you got to leave, bro. You got to get. Kind of like, you know, what, what Israel does to the to the Palestinians over there with their settlers. They kick the Palestinians out of the home and then they take over. Or kind of like what the settlers did to the Native Americans that were here, the First Nations. They came and kicked the First Nations, made them move out, and the settlers, the conquerors, took over. That's kind of like exactly what Mark did. <laughs> so anyways, it's all in the video. If they watch this video, then... Uh, Oh, they're, within these 13 days, what? Truthful language claim. What would this individual know anything about a truthful language claim when they can't even use plain, simple English? And, of course, they don't even... put a, a correct name down here unless this is M A R C U S with a dangling participle colon at the end. Yeah, that is complete quantum gobbledygook. It's worse than quantum gobbledygook, much worse. And then I responded, did you watch the video? The evidence is there, being that you've absolutely zero, zero knowledge of correct sentence structure. I cognize why you would not possess the capacity to understand and comprehend the evidence. Don't fret. You may contact me and apply for a workshop. And then they correspond back. Use assumptions, presumptions, and opines are not fact. For my brother is notwithstanding the integrity by the honor and grace. Use false and misleading statements or degrading use, honor, and grace. By use on volition, use are with the Hippocratic deceptions. Note again. What in the hell? And then I said, does anyone speak this mystery person's language? If so, please translate. Rather than correct sentence structure, they may need to take classes in plain, simple English and basic communications. And they think I'm their brother, so they may be delusional as well. So there you have it. This is the type of, folks, please listen very carefully. This is the type of mental condition of state that is cultivated in the Mark Lower Case Cake, Sean Christopher segment of the world. You can see the type of uh, mentality that is cultivated by the Russell J. Gould sector, right? They're very brood. They're very uh, assumptive, presumptive. I mean, they just come on. They're so rude, bluster, and they demand that you do this or that, right? These people are like way off in left la-la land. So if I had to, wow, this is a perfect Hegelian dialectic. Marcus Sean Christopher's people would be like the Democratic left. And the Russell J. Gould people would be like the, the Republican right. You have the extreme liberals and then you have the extreme conservatives. It's two sides of the same damn coin. 
and it's all fiction. Next comment comes from Pi314, and they say, For the claim of the voidance is with the salvage by the term contract. For the term contract of the salvage is with the voidance by the claim. So this individual, what? Who, who's making the claim? They're claiming to void something. They're voiding the salvage of the term contract? Hmm. So I guess Pi314 isn't going to be making contract with anyone in the near future if I'm to guess what this sentence says. Even though no one has taken authority over it, and I don't know who's making the claim. For the Pascal says, what I meant with my comment was simply more audit videos of supposed correct sentence structure documents and websites. I threw in the term stop and correct because it is a buzzword in the community and you have used it in the past. Yes, I have used that in the past, but I have never told nor ordered nor commanded or demanded that anyone stop and correct. At the most, I've said, when I've done an audit of Russell J. Gould's grammar or Mark Sean Christopher's grammar, I've said, I've been telling people about this for years. I've been making it public, doing public audits of these men's documents, showing consistent errors. They make the same errors over and over and over and over again. And what did David Wynn Miller once say about that? He said, if you start to see a pattern of the same errors being made over and over and over, then that means that they're being made on purpose because they're not stopping and correcting. So that's what I, where I've used that term, meaning Russell has not stopped and corrected. I'm not telling him to stop and correct. That's his responsibility to do. That's, that's The onus is on him to do that, just like it is on me. If I make a mistake, I have to stop and correct with all humility. And it does take humility to do that. But neither one of those men have done that. So that's why I said that, Pascal. Because you wanted said you wanted to see more stop and correct videos. So I immediately applied it to me. That sounds like you want me to stop and correct myself. Because it's not up to me to stop and correct anyone else. If you make a mistake, it's not up to me to stop and correct you in the public. In this way. Now, if you're my student and we have a contract that stipulates that you are under my jurisdiction as a student and you make a mistake, yeah, it's up to me to stop and correct you because you're my student and we have that contract. I don't have a contract with Russell J. Gould. I certainly don't have a contract with Mark Lowercase K. So therefore, I'm not going to be telling them to stop and correct. I have no jurisdiction to do so. It's their responsibility to stop and correct their own grammar. Psh, what do you expect me to do everything? Jeez. Next comment comes from Mark Lee, Civic Duty, and they say, I'm sending you my donation for your donation. Let's get it started. I have a lot of knowledge about, but not good enough yet. I'll look for your donation portal. I'm here. People like this, it just puts a smile on my face because they talk a good talk. Like this individual, I'm pretty sure he emailed me a couple years ago saying the same shit and they never followed through. And now they're saying this and they did reach out to me via email and I did correspond back. And guess what, folks? Silence. <laughs> If I had a troy ounce of gold for every Mark Lee civic duty type of comment or email I got, I wouldn't be here doing this right now. I wouldn't need to. Another one from Mark Lee, and they say, yes, yes, no. There are not many people out there that will know this stuff. The banks know it. How do you know the banks know it? I guess I don't know what you're talking about here. No, you can't open a bank account in the living man name. Banking is commerce. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. Banking is commerce, so they operate in the fiction realm. And the natural living man stays in the private. Well, maybe your natural living man does. Uh, myself as a live life claimant, I navigate both in the confidential and in the public. But you can capture the names and control them as the holder. See, both of those words, I don't participate with capture nor control. Because those are both acts of war. To capture something... 
means you've taken something against its will. An act of war. War negates contract. To control something implies coercion, meaning you're forcing something to do something against its will. So again, that's an act of war. War negates contract. So I don't use those terms. Like I would reword it to say, you can salvage the names and be a steward of them as the holder, i.e. steward, and use them as the middleman to do business with the dead. Short version. I mean, that's a kind of a goofy way to say it, but you can say do business with the fiction. But those are mechanics that one would have to know after they learn the grammar. And this individual, I don't think really... I, I know that they say that they think that they know something and they may know something, but they don't really show evidence of it here. At least no grammatical knowledge. And I'll never probably know what their knowledge level is because, again, they never responded to my email. Oh, Mark Lee must have been on a bender that day. They left a string of comments all at once. Of means no. How so? How does of mean no? State of Georgia. No state, no Georgia. No, state of Georgia is actually a pronoun, adverb, dangling participle verb. If, uh, if we're going to be straight up about it in a correct sentence structure context. Pi314 says, big difference between imposing opinion and teaching truth. I'm glad someone told me many years ago about the subcutaneous injection of poisons. That's insane. Um, I'm not sure that opinion can be imposed unless one allows that to happen, actually. And as far as the subcutaneous injection of poisons, I knew from an early age, in, at least in elementary school, that it just didn't make sense. You know, that, that any time you insert a foreign substance into your body, it can't be a good thing. Unless in an emergency, extreme emergency situation. If you're just walking around every day and you're healthy, why would you do that? Why would you put a foreign substance into your body? The cosmos given immune system is a miraculous, powerful thing. I listened more closely and it's the demand of others to live a certain way that is ridiculous and I agree. For the why is a difficult find. Others may demand to live a certain way and they're more than welcome to do that. As long as they don't demand that I participate with it if I disagree with it. As far as why, I don't know. Maybe they're... Final comment comes from member Rosvon. Thank you for your membership, Rosvon. And they say, great stuff. Took me a while to get this out there. Is a big difference between good practice, advice, and personal preference. Yes, indeed. Well done. Thanks for joining me, folks. We'll see you in the next one. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching. Click the join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the loyalist contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation and you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions and we'll see if indeed you are really serious 
or not. Thank you.